afternoon. We hope that you are well into the spirit of the of the season, making spirits bright. <clears throat> I'm Sister Jean Kenora, and I am from the um, staff of the St. Mary Ann Museum, and um, we're here on North Townsend Street, next door to St. Joseph's Hospital. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we decided as a staff that we would go to see what this Sandwich Saturday is all about. And it's called, the program is called, We Rise Above the Streets. Uh, a young man called Alameen Mohammed is the director of this program. He's been running for seven years. And he goes down there uh, to the school, the middle school, uh, Lincoln Middle School, where the, many, many people gathered. We went down a couple of weeks ago and we saw many volunteers coming from all over with children and uh, cars full of different kinds of uh, either food or uh, clothes. And they were coming to make sandwiches uh, to give to the poor. And um, I would say that lasted probably for a couple of hours. And I was very impressed, very impressed with the amount of people. The nice, uh, the children were so happy to be a participant of the program, and I was very happy to see that because they are our future. And if we start uh, teaching children when they're young to do that, to the example of going with their parents, they will uh, really help us into the future of working with the poor. So we uh, stood around and we actually participated in making sandwiches also. and. Um, uh, Elamine was uh, very enthusiastic about all of the people that came to help. Uh, he ended up telling us a little bit about himself, how he got started, and I was uh, very, very impressed that he turned his life around, no matter what. He turned his whole life around after being homeless for 10 years. He now is in charge of this program. Every Saturday they go and make the lunch. And then it's so organized, after a couple of hours of making the lunch, we bring it down. We went down, and we went down to the, um, under the bridge. And we went down there, and they laid out uh, different kinds of uh, things for different programs. They had um, clothes in one section, food in another section, and the bagged lunches in another section. People were arriving, homeless were arriving, and they stood in line until they were told that they could start to uh, pick up. Uh, now the volunteers were on one side, um, uh, behind what we were giving out, and then uh, the people would come along and uh, be able. So it was very, very organized. I just was uh, very impressed that uh, through one person who was really turned his life around, that this was uh, what, what we could see happening in the future to many people if they're motivated. This man was uh, attempting suicide until he met somebody that helped him. And, it, and he just praised the social workers, very highly uh, able to, to pre uh, really praise the social workers who are able to do this kind of transition of helping people find their way through life in a different way. So, uh, as he said, he was very, very happy that he met up with someone. And it shows that one person could change your life, uh, which we often don't think about. We see people on the streets and we just think, oh, well, they're gonna be like that forever. But if you meet the right person and you are a little bit able to talk with them and try to uh, have them see that their life is worthwhile, as Mother Mary Ann did. Mother Mary Ann worked with all of these poor people uh, in Hawaii, uh, trying to be of help to them during their illness of leprosy. She spoke with them, she made clothes for them, she, she dressed them lovely. Uh, the girls were always very, very well dressed when they went to church. She always said that she thought that they would be honored at St. Patrick's Cathedral. So. Uh, she saw life in a positive way. So that's what we try to do with trying to be involved with these uh, places that are nonprofit. The nonprofit organizations 
need a lot of volunteers. So if there's anything that you have time for, um, be in touch with some of the associations that are in need of help, of people to come and help other people. We don't just do this at Christmas. It seems to me that, you know, it's the Christmas time and the giving season, but people eat every day. Uh, so we do need to be encouraging to these people throughout the year. All of us can help. Volunteers can donate food. They can donate their time, uh, their money if they want to, uh, and follow the follow-up with uh, Elamid. You can follow him on Facebook. I'll learn how to get involved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Learn how to get involved would be a very, very healthy way for you to do something all year long, not just at the holiday season. So we are so happy that we can actually go and witness some of these places that are volunteering and doing so much for the poor. And we hope that you will join them and in your heart you will find that uh, this will be a benefit to not only them but yourselves. As St. Francis says, it is in giving that we receive. So we do want to be present to our brothers and sisters. Remember, we are all one family, and sometimes we, we don't think about that, but we are all brothers and sisters. So let us pray uh, today that we will forward ourselves into becoming a better world, to be more peaceful and more loving. So we ask you to follow us on uh, Facebook, follow up all of the things that we do here. Uh, stop in to see the museum. There's online gifts giving. Uh, so we have a variety of things that you could do to help us as well as um, other agencies. God bless you and I'll be talking to you again soon.